Even as this week commemorates Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, a white supremacist takes up residence in a small North Dakota village. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Berg. Good to be with you tonight. Well, he's pro-white, anti-religion, but he says he's peaceful. Since he went public with his plan, has the public's response deterred him? Barbara Sharp caught up with him to find out. Little Leith, North Dakota, a town that previously saw 10 cars a week, now sees 10 cars an hour. It's all since Craig Cobb came to town. He's known even internationally for his white supremacist views. He says his upbringing has nothing to do with it or with his Spartan lifestyle. My father and grandfather built subdivisions and I had a really privileged life. So as odd as it may seem to many people, your luxury goods don't mean that much to me. What does mean something to him is his pro-white, anti-religious, but he says non-violent beliefs. Beliefs, in his words, cultivated by his experiences. It's in my living memory, the riots of 1965 through 1967, the cities in this country were decimated. So those will happen again when the people who populate these areas, these urban areas, don't get their stipends. They're 3000 a month or whatever they get on average. They're not going to be happy campers. He believes similar-minded people should be able to live in peace in this place. I'll just tell you this about racial cohesion or about people loving their own tribe. It's fine for all these other minorities, but not us. If you merely speak about it, you're going to be defamed in this country. Even with his newfound North Dakota notoriety, Craig Cobb says he remains resolute. His plans for Leith haven't changed. No, no, not at all. In fact, if anything, I've gotten lots and lots of offers to buy lots. He says he owned 12 Leith lots but isn't sure how many he has left which signals to him there are lots of people out there who think like he does. Some locals however do not. I didn't realize that he was such so extreme you see because he was just uh, there was no reasoning at all. In the long run we're just hoping that the man's plans don't materialize and that uh, we can continue to have the nice little a friendly and promoting love community rather than hate that, that we've got now. In Leith for KX News, Barbara Sharp. Though he was fired from his oil country job, kicked off Facebook, and he says banned from entering many countries, Craig Cobb plans to keep busy managing his website and spreading his pro-white message.